So today there's an overabundance of choices in music. Um, kids today, you know, they have access to more music, more product, more sharing than they've ever had before. Uh, but it's difficult. There's a bewildering array of options today. So how do you know who uh, the best artist is? How do you know who the up-and-coming music to listen to is? So we think the MTV Music Meter actually solves a problem. It's a new application that can be on a website, be on an Android phone, be on a connected television. And it's really about a list of buzzing artists out there in, in, on the internet, on social media, that you know, have been talked about or are, are buzzing. And it gives you a simple 10 list every day about who you should listen to. You can sample the artist. Uh, you can play a video. You can see what they're tweeting about. Uh, you can share it with your friends. Uh, you can even hit a button and find 10 similar artists and keep drilling down. So we think very simply that it solves a problem. And every day we want you to be able to dip into the MTV Music Meter and find new music. Well, why is this different? So I think if you look at a lot of the charts out there today, and we don't think Music Meter is exactly a chart. They're either curated by people or they're based on song downloads or record sales. So the Meter is essentially, we've partnered with you know, some smart people from MIT, and it essentially parses a million records a day, for everything from tweets to plays on YouTube and really anything that's accessible on the open web when it comes to mentioning or playing of an artist's music. So the meter is really based on activity in social media. And it's not just the most buzzed artists because in a way we'll have Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga and Eminem up there for six months in a row. It's really about hidden gems or velocity or new people that, that's starting to buzz up and generate interest. So, we hope that essentially we can go out into the internet, find these new buzzed about artists and bring them to you. So the secret sauce in effect is you know, some smart algorithms, but based essentially on activity that's outside uh, in, in, in really any form that, that we find relevant. If someone says, asks you, well, how is this different from Pandora, what would you explain? So Pandora, we love Pandora. Pandora is a great service. I find a lot of my own music on Pandora. Um, but it's different in a way that you know, if I say, for instance, I'm reading um, Pitchfork and I find a new artist and I type it into Pandora, it'll play me similar artists based on their genome project uh, algorithm. Uh, it's different in a way that I may have to wait for 10 songs into the stream to find an artist I'm interested in. Whereas the music meter is much more interactive, it's much more modular. So if you don't like a particular artist, you can go on to another one. You can drill in, get similar artists. So again, we feel we have four kind of pillars to a lot of the new music products we're bringing out. And the pillars are around uh, discovery, sharing, consuming, uh, and interacting. And we think the music meter is about all those pillars. So we think, again, it's a very different product to Pandora in that it's more like an interactive discovery tool than it is like a streaming radio service. Is this a subscription? Is it free? Is it ad support? Will there be ads? What's the uh, business side of this? Right, so, so it won't be a subscription service. We're not in the subscription streaming service business. This is really more of a tool for our users. Uh, one of our core revenue models online is advertising. So we feel that we will have opportunities to integrate our ad partners uh, into the music meter, but we, we feel this integration can be in you know, a new and interesting way, not just banners and pre-rolls. Uh, there may be a partner that might be interested in local buzz bands in Chicago, for instance. Well, we feel that we can you know, bring that type of service. A partner may be interested in a particular play, uh, a particular kind of theme. So uh, an advertising partner may want to have you know, upbeat rock and roll music to support one of their brand campaigns. And we think that you know, we can create a buzz meter around that type of theme. We can also go into genres. So we can have a country music meter, we can have rock and roll, we can have rap. So the beauty of this product is it can splice and dice really a million different ways. And I think that gives us opportunities, particularly for, say, some of our advertising partners to create you know, non-obtrusive, unobtrusive uh, integration. So the ad partner is getting value and the user is getting value too. The Music Meter is a, is a daily list of, of 10 artists, up and coming buzz artists uh, you may want to hear about. For example, number one today is Mike Posner. You can listen to a sample of all the songs. You can check out video. You can see photos. Um, what we do like also is this ability here to hit similar artists. So we can hit similar artists. The Music Meter will generate 10 different artists like Mike Posner. 
Again, we can dr drill down. We can see tweets. We can see audio. We can see news. Um, and again, drilling down again, we can keep going forward until um, we keep experiencing different artists, different genres, uh, and similar artists to the ones that we started out with. So we think that you know it's it's really the social activity around an artist all in one place. And um, again, it's a tool we're we're very excited about. You got